30 years ago, a woman was found murdered in rural Kentucky. Her face was missing, making the case nearly impossible to crack. But now a new lead is bringing renewed hope. We have an update in DBL's True Crime Chronicles. Near Corinth, Kentucky, lies a small rural town made up of less than 300 people. For a place where everyone knows each other, there's one thing everyone can't seem to figure out. Every time you close your eyes, you see that raising up in front of you, and it was just a horrible feeling. It was May 1988. Joy Kelly and her husband spot what they thought was an animal hidden between brush on a rural road. I said, I don't think it's a goat. She would be right, but it was nearly impossible to identify who the person was. The face was missing. Parts of the body was missing. The left arm from the elbow down was gone. All police could determine was it was a female and that her naked body had been lying there for days. The thing I remember most, and I mentioned to the detective, wearing nothing but men's socks, and they were pulled up perfectly, uh, brown socks. After sitting in the case files for decades, Kentucky State Police are taking another look. I'm Detective Andre Samu with the Kentucky State Police looking into an unsolved murder case from 1988. Police are calling her Jane Doe, and the clues left behind in her case are offering new hope. Well, the right hand still existed, but there was certain portions of the fingers that were still intact that we were able to get a fingerprint. They're using that DNA on new technology to get new leads. You know that this person had family somewhere. 30 years, somebody's missing somebody. Forensic experts used her bones to build this composite of Jane Doe, hoping someone might recognize her. Because without her name, it's nearly impossible to find her killer. And earlier, Tori, Brandon, and Lindsay spoke with the investigative reporter following this case. Take a look. We're joined by investigative journalist Shay McAllister from WHAS 11 in Louisville, Kentucky. Thank you for joining us. Police have not been able to identify this woman for 30 years. And finally, last week, they announced a new incredible lead. What did investigators tell you? So we just learned last week that this Jane Doe may have ties to Columbus, Ohio, or Miami, Florida. And why this is so big is because this widens the search for anyone who may have seen her or known her outside of Kentucky where her body was found. This case broke in 1988 and quickly went cold. So why did investigators take so long to tackle this? Well, by the time Jane Doe's body was found on the side of this rural highway, parts of it were missing, including one wow. of her arms and parts of her face. Oh so it was hard to see who she was, what she might have looked like. Eventually, new technology made it possible for them to create a composite so that people can see this picture and see if she's someone who may be familiar. Wow. Now you mentioned police believe she has ties to Columbus, Ohio or Miami, Florida. How are police able to make that conclusion with such little evidence? Well, like so much with an open investigation, they wouldn't tell us exactly what it was that led them to believe that she had those ties. However, we know last year they received some new grant money to do DNA testing. Mm. So maybe there was a breakthrough in some DNA testing to someone in those regions. That's amazing. Shay, thank you for keeping the story alive. We want closure for this, yeah. and it takes people like you to give us that closure. Thank you, Shay. To read more on the case, please visit whas11.com or their Facebook page.